Alright guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to use a uh, program called CF Auto Route and it is going to route your Samsung Galaxy Tab 8.4 inch uh, tablet. So let me just go ahead and show it to you. I mean you guys have probably seen this already in some of my videos. Um, just to make sure we're all on the same page. Right here, that is it. That is the model number. So this tablet is model number SM-T320 um, and is on Android 4.4.2 KitKat. So um, I'm going to show you how to use CF Auto Route to get root access. Just be aware, a um, little warning here is that this will trip your Knox sensor or flag, whatever you're going to call it, and you will lose your warranty if you do this. Okay. Um, any hacking actually that gets done to this device pretty much at this point will trip your Knox and you will lose warranty. Uh, I don't really worry about that because I like all the features I get by it. Um, never had a problem with any of my devices. But just be aware of that. Um, now if you obviously break this thing something major and they can't even turn it on, who cares if your warranty is tripped because they can't check it anyway. But that being said, this is our device and we're going to use CF Auto Route to get root access on this device. So to do that, you're going to go ahead and turn off your device, power off, and we're going to actually get into download mode or Odin mode, um, however you want to call it. And to do that, you're just going to hold volume down, home, and power. Now, it's a good thing whenever you're flashing anything to make sure that you, you have good battery life. It's really important to have good battery life. Um, so from this screen, if you have good battery life, you're ready to do this, you're not worried about tripping your warranty, go ahead and hit volume up. And this is download and slash Odin mode. All right, so we're going to leave this right here. And let's shoot over to my computer and let's um, go ahead and show you what you're going to need to do this. All right, so here we are on the computer. And this is just my folder with all my stuff for this device right at this point. So um, this is the file you're going to download right here. And you're going to extract it. I extract it and put it in this folder. And you're going to need your Samsung drivers. So if you've never installed any Samsung drivers, go ahead and download this. I'll link it in the video description along with the link to CF Auto Root. Actually, I'll show you really quick CF Auto Root. Here it is. This is the CF Auto Root repository. Basically, you just scroll down to your device, the SMT320, and you click on File, and it'll download. Um, you might want to read through this right up here about flashing an Odin and about devices with Knox and warranty. All right, so that being said, that's what you're going to need. Um, I just went ahead and clicked on it, clicked Extract, and put it, everything in this folder right here. So that is everything right there, okay? So go ahead and make sure you run your drivers. Go ahead and run, let them install, and close it out. It's very simple. Once you've done that, you've got your device in download mode still here. We're just going to go ahead and plug in our cable. There we go. You can see it plugged in. Now it's very important not to bump it or unplug your cable at this point. Very, very important. And then the other thing you can see here. Oh, that's interesting. It doesn't look like I have a... Uh, normally there's a pop-up here with my drivers being installed, but I think I've already installed them for this device, so it just connected. So, if your drivers are installed correctly um, and everything's looking smoothly, we can go ahead and open up your folder with the files you extracted from your CF Auto Root zip. Open Odin. All right, and this is where it's going to be kind of important. Uh, you want to make sure you have a com and a number right here, and you want to make sure it says added. If those two things are there, that means your drivers are installed correctly, along with um, everything's ready to rock and roll. So then all you got to do is hit, um, don't mess with anything else, just hit PDA. And you're automatically going to be opened in this folder, so you, this should be listed exactly like you see it. Double click on it. And it just checks it to make sure it's good. Yep, everything looks okay. And then you just hit start. And this should go very, very quickly. Um, shouldn't take long at all. And there you go. You can see the device is rebooting. And it says something up here. 
little quick note and voila it just went ahead and went through some kind of recovery setup um, and then it says rebooting in 10 seconds and it's rebooting this is kind of fun for me because I've never had a chance really to use CF auto root I've seen it it, it supports tons of devices um, it's by Chainfire, um, which is really really cool I get to finally get a chance to check this out on the Galaxy tab right here mm -hmm. so that's it you are done on the computer you can um, close the program and let's check this device out so here you go guys everything has uh, booted up and we're just gonna scroll over right there it is super sue uh, Knox has been detected this might limit root access do you want to disable Knox yes we're gonna say yes disable Knox it's doing it right now successful okay and then no thanks and you should be good to go if you want to prove that you have root access we could go ahead and really quickly download root checker root checker right there I love using this application it's just super simple it just checks to prove that you have root access alright so it's done go ahead and open it up agree okay verify root access there's the prompt hit grant and congratulations your device has root access that's it super simple guys that's how to root the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4 inch device tablet shabam stay tuned I'm going to be doing some more videos on this thing really really soon um, one that includes getting custom recovery and showing you guys how to flash custom ROMs things like Saijin mod and so forth so hope you guys like this video and we'll catch you guys next time Root Junkie out.